And first for you tonight at 11, Englewood police believe they are close to cracking a 22-year-old cold case. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Until now, that victim has only been referred to as Jane Doe, but officers say she may soon have a name. And Megan O'Rourke is live with our top story at 11. Megan? This is a case that officers here in Inglewood tell me has been passed on from detective to detective. And despite 22 years of hard work, they say they've never been able to identify Jane Doe, at least until now. Take a look at this composite sketch. This is the photo the police posted online along with some of the case details. Officials say they recently received a phone call from who they now believe is the victim's sister. The woman told police she was searching the Internet when she stumbled on the 1987 case. It was here at the I-70 entrance ramp from Hoke Road that the victim's partially clothed body was discovered. Police determined she was strangled, but they had little other information to go on besides a couple of distinct tattoos. So this break in the case is pretty amazing for police who have spent years trying to give Jane Doe back her identity. Great mystery for us. And after really 22 years, I shocked myself to be actually standing here even talking about it today. You know, we're really on the verge of finally proving and... and identifying who she was. For all these years, she was always simply Jane Doe. And hopefully, we believe now we are on the cusp of finally putting a name to who she is uh, to have her body properly marked and memorialized. Now, officers tell me they are waiting on DNA from the family to cross-test that against Jane Doe. They say that the results could take a couple of weeks. In the meantime, they say they're not going to release her name or where they believe she is from. However, they tell me she's not from Ohio. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.